Welcome back to part three of my magnesium valve cover conversion for the N52 engine. So I'm kind of in a limbo land right now on where I want to take this project. Um, the hardest part is really just figuring out how I want to do all the hoses and fittings and attachments. Of course, it would be pretty easy to go from this size to a smaller size back up to a bigger size, but that isn't clean. That isn't very elegant. I'm looking for the cleanest way to go from this size down to this size and then back up to the three quarter. This is one inch, this is five eighths, that's three quarter. Um, this PCV valve that I got is a Fram FV345. It's uh, about eight or nine dollars from your local parts supplier or online supplier. Do I recommend this one? No, it's just the one that I got. I'll see if it works. If it doesn't, oh well. It does say it's made in the USA, but I mean, this thing feels really nasty and I don't really, I don't necessarily trust it. The other thing that I'm a little confused about is which direction it's supposed to go. Being that the threads are here, I would think that it would go this way into a valve cover, but you're supposed to have flow in this direction and it's supposed to check the flow or stop it in this direction. But for it to work in that way, it would have to go in this way. So this might be for a vehicle that has the valve on the manifold side and then the exhaust or the, uh, sorry, the crankcase gases go this way. So my first thought was to figure out a way to use like uh, some 6061, turn it down to fit in here with some O-rings with, uh, you know, and then bore it out to have this slide in there with some O-rings or maybe even some RTV. And then put an, you know, an increased size adapter to go to three quarter. And then I can just use full three quarter hose from pretty much here to the catch can and then into the manifold because I did um, roughly measure the manifold. I couldn't get a caliper or anything on it, but I used some of this hosing, which um, this is three quarter inch hose. I use this stuff to try and slide it onto the fittings of the manifold when I had the, um, the oil filter housing off of the car when I replaced the oil filter housing gasket. And I, that was in one of my previous videos, um, and I, I can link to that here. I didn't film me measuring anything, um, but I was able to measure it, and it's about three quarters to seven eighths. Um, it's, I think it's a metric size that's in between those, but if I use one of these with some silicone, and if I can just use a razor to chamfer the edge, it'll slide over those just fine. So I'm fine with using three quarter inch hose. I just need to figure out how I want to get this to fit on here. Um, another thing that I have is these are some leftover grommets from a plastic valve cover on an M54 engine from a 5 Series that I have. And these just happen to fit into this um, hole perfectly. So even something else I could try if I really wanted to get weird with it is take a few of these, cut the centers out so it slides over this and slide that in there. And because the system is under mild vacuum and not under pressure or anything else, that would hold. Uh, I think that would hold just fine, especially if I had, you know, if I had, let's say, three or four of those, I think that would work just fine. It's, that's kind of a, you know, a back road, get you by sort of way to do it but it would probably work. So using machining with aluminum, it's gonna be a little bit tougher because you know those sizes are pretty close and I'm not a machinist. I can use a mill, I can use a lathe, but not to any sort of uh, proficiency. Taking a step away from this project for a second, in the overall project, um, this bracket which mounts the plastic vanity cover to the valve cover, I cleaned this up with some steel wool, and I think it turned out pretty good. There are some, uh, there's still some rougher spots, but you're not really going to see this. And I also, I did remove the, uh, the grommets that hold this thing on. They're pretty hard. 
I had to cut one of them off, but I do have two spares. These are uh, tw Taiwanese ones. So that uh, shouldn't be a problem. I also did clean up the the oil cap that it's back there. I'm not gonna dig that out. So that's where this project stands right now. Um, in other news, I still have not made a bracket or made the second half of the bracket. I'm planning on using this rectangle channel. I'm going to cut out, you know, two pieces of it to make it basically just a piece of L bracket and I'll mount it up like that. I haven't decided if I want to go the full width or what I want to do with it yet, but I, I've, before I go further with the catch can mounting, I want to get this stuff figured out. Uh, I may go easy. I may go the harder route. I'm really not sure. Just to get some measurements going, uh, what I need to adapt to is from this, which is, oh, I'd say it at maximum, it's 0.63. 3, 0.635, somewhere in there. I might be able to get up to 0.64. I, with it being a molded plastic part, it's, I'd say it's about 633. So I have to convert 633 to 0.987. Correction, 0.887. Yeah, 0.887. So it's not a lot, but, you know, it's also not a little bit. Um, with the construction of this, this is not a part of this casting. This piece is pressed on, which makes sense. I mean, you can see where it was pressed on, and there, it would be very difficult to machine this. You can just about see in there, and there's a really annoying fly in here. You can just about see the, where that uh, groove is. That's where this uh, machine part meets the casting. Again, I'm open to suggestions. Um, this part may or may not go in the video. It depends on if I figure something out before I feel like posting this portion. Um, it, within the week, I should be doing some machining. I would prefer to make this out of plastic, actually. If I had some one-inch diameter, um, like Delrin, nylon, or, you know, HDPE, this, this would be much more of a cakewalk. Aluminum is a bit tougher of a material to work with than plastics, obviously. I would almost even prefer steel to this, but I just don't have any steel in a convenient diameter. I think the smallest piece of steel round stock I have is an inch and a quarter. And I just, I don't want to waste the material. This is almost perfect to what I need anyway. So I, I would just think, turn down a portion of this, put two, two O-ring grooves in there, slide that in, maybe even put some RTV in there, and then uh, do the same thing on the inside, except for the O-ring grooves, and then slide that in. Seems simple enough. 